back. Um, this will be our second video. And yeah, and we wanted to post some updates. We just got some new stuff in. We're really excited about it. Yes, um, I love Satsuma Street yeah. stuff. Um, one of the earlier projects I did was Satsuma Street, and it's a um, it's pretty little San Francisco. I mm -hmm. made it for her. <laughs> yep. It's actually going to be here in the store, so yeah. if you'd like to come take a look at it, please feel free. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love that one. It's just cute little modern, like smushed together city landmarks, yeah. and she has, or well, Satsuma Street has. Uh, several different cities. Her newest one is Pretty Little Hawaii, which unfortunately we couldn't get for the store But hopefully we will sometime because I really love yeah, it and I want to stitch new. that one. Yeah, um, her husband's yep. family is from Hawaii So yep, we love Hawaii <laughs> uh, Let's see what else. We got some Plum Street. Mm -hmm. We have in, the new Plum Street. I love uh, No, no. <laughs> it's not unfortunately um, I love the new Halloween one and that one's really cute and there's another uh, Folks, Eden is new, yeah. and I like her. Like, I'll go back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we so. have Merfolk's Eden. Um, which is that one? Uh, Blue Skin. Blue Skin. It's another one of our colonials. Uh, Early American. Uh, Cal, Cal Pile. Pile. <laughs> we appreciate the name, and it is really cute too. Yeah, I like really all the cute. on it. Look at the cows. Um, this one is Henpeck. That one's also really adorable. Hopefully you guys are seeing these. We can't tell what we're filming right now. Here's my favorite. <laughs> Scary one. Yes, Halloween. <laughs> Speaking of which, it is now the uh, third week in July, and that means yeah. it's time to start thinking about Halloween. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we were probably going to put our, our Halloween stuff, like, next month. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put it out next month. We're probably going to switch over to fall decorations featuring fall stuff pretty soon because it's really hot, and we want it to be fall. Yeah. And this is our little way of, like, encouraging yeah. fall to come early this yeah. year. It's been in the 90s. Um, right now it's 80, so it feels nice and cool, which yeah. is weird. Um, so I mean, yeah. admittedly, we live in Oregon, and we're used to kind of cool weather. And both of us came from hotter places, so we're like, yay, we moved here for the mildness. Yeah. And then it gets really hot, and I'm like, yeah. I left this behind in Texas. Like, Why is this here? I, I grew up in Ohio, but like, it gets really hot and humid in the summer. Mm -hmm. So... I figured it wouldn't be as bad here, which was dumb. But now we had just like swapped out humidity for wildfires, so that's fun. You take some, yeah. But otherwise, the rest of the year it's honestly fine. It's definitely the rest <laughs> of fine. the year. It's fine. Yeah, we, we, we really like it. If you're a person who really likes rain and like blustery, cool weather and wearing sweaters and mm -hmm. drinking hot cocoa, Oregon, it's great. The northernish part of Oregon, because. Further down and like past like Eugene, like in Ashland and stuff like that, it's it's, it's hot. Kind of warm, yeah. It's hot. Um, what else? Oh, I finished my last project that I mentioned in last week's video or earlier this week's video. I'm not sure where we're gonna post this. Um, I will post a little picture in here so you guys can see it because it will soon be on its way to my parents. Uh, it's a little anniversary present for them because they got married in Las Vegas. 19 years ago they're not quite on their 20th um so yeah i've made a lot of present like cross stitch presents for my mom before i've made her a little map of ireland um i'll put the links to these patterns below because they aren't ones that we carry it's just stuff i've amassed over the years um i made her a little flamingo and um pineapple thing for her office and then i made her a sweary one which i just like um made up on my own like i found a, a border to put with it so it's this nice little floral thing with the f word in it because <laughs> she requested it and I don't mind stitching that kind of thing because I think it's funny we probably won't have that kind of stuff in the store but who knows we, we might. might find some there might be like a section where you have the little boards over the patterns like yeah you see in, in like the, the cosmos at, like the cosmo at walmart or something yeah. like that where it's like very specifically we might do that. hidden I'd but, like to do that but we'll see how that goes we may have an adults only section in our yeah. best stitch shop um, I'm working on, I actually brought it with me because I didn't feel like working today. <laughs> well, this is working. I'm yeah, sorry. it is technically working, this but this is, is present. Workshop. It's, you can barely see it. It's going to be like a birth announcement floral design for my niece. She's going to be one in August. Um, and I wanted to make something really cute and floral. Um, it's very pink and peachy colored. So I think it'll look really nice. And this is just on, I think, 14? 
14 count Ida. It's like an oatmeal color, so it's kind of light with a little bit of modeling mm -hmm. in it. Because I'm boring, I don't stitch on linen, or I haven't tried to stitch on linen yet. Um, yeah, I may. I'm just, I don't know. I value my eyesight right now. <laughs> I want to stitch on linen. I mean, I've embroidered on linen, which I really like, and I like the way it feels, and I keep meaning to stitch on linen, but then I start projects, and I'm like, I'll just use this, <laughs> this ant cloth that I had hanging around, but, um, oh well, yeah. Speaking of which, we're going to try and start dyeing some cloths, because we really need to get more fabric in. Mm -hmm. um, before we took over the store, they had a clearance sale, because they assumed they were just going out of business, which, I mean, I guess they did, um, and, we, it took, the fabric obviously took a giant hit because it was 40% off of everything, including the fabric. Mm -hmm. So we've got a good amount, but a lot of stuff that people want is not there anymore. Yeah. Or there's very, like, little of it left. So, so if you have any requests, like specific yeah. colors, specific types, specific thread counts, let us know. You can either leave it in the comments or if you follow us on Facebook, just shoot us a message there. Um, I'm getting ready to do a fabrics order once we sort of take stock of everything that we have and everything that everybody wants. So hopefully we'll have fabric in soon. Um, but yeah, just let us know if there's something specific we don't have right now that you really want and we'll get it for you. Yeah. Um, like I'm obviously very born and I just use Ada. Um, so if there's anything specific that you like, tell us down in the comments and give us sort of an idea of what we should be putting out there. Yeah, what just, we should keep in stock just in yeah. case you're like working on a project and need some fabric for it. Yeah. Um, but we yeah. want to be able to make good recommendations for people. And yep. It's always a learning process. Yes. <laughs> Since we're both stitchers, but we're not like expert stitchers who've been around for a long time, but we want to be. <laughs> yeah, and we want to be so. helpful and make sure our customers are happy with what they've purchased from us. Yeah. So. Yep, we, wanna we want to make sure we give good advice and yes. not terrible advice. Yes. So, yeah. Um, we also, what else? You're still working we on your thing. We placed a couple of orders oh, yeah. with uh, a couple of distributors, so we should be getting new patterns in soon. And we're looking to bring in patterns that have come out since the last order that we got, which was uh, placed in April, I think. Yeah, April or March. March or like April. Um, it was the last order that the former owner and placed before she got sick. And so I've tried to catch up on the brands yeah. that we really carry. Um, stuff like uh, Heart in Hand and uh, Little House Needleworks, mm -hmm. Country Cottage, those kind of things. So, yep, we're, uh, we're going to bring those in. Our Christmas in July sale, sale <laughs> Christmas in July sale is still going on. Mm -hmm. uh, goes through the end of the month, strangely enough, since it's yeah. July. All of July. Yep. <laughs> Everything Christmas is twenty percent off. So um, if you want to get started on your Christmas decorations now, which is frankly the kind of thing that I need to do, yeah. Um, then <laughs> stop by. We've got a good selection. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, one other thing that we're working on. Um, we want to have an online shop. So part of what we're doing in the store right now is inventorying everything. Um, and so once we get a decent inventory built up, like at a spreadsheet, we're going to put it online. And I'm currently working on our website right now, which will be sort of a combination blog where we can talk about mm -hmm. stitching and updates for the shop and then an online store. So you'll be able to place orders through the online store, either for shipping or to pick up. If you're local, you can, you're more than welcome to mm -hmm. skip the shipping cost and come into the store to get it. Um, yeah, so we'll make an announcement whenever the store is online and whenever we get our blog going too. Yeah. We have the link in our information. Um, it, there's really nothing there yet, but we, I yeah. just wanted to keep it in there so you guys can bookmark it or just refer back to it. Yeah, and um, if you don't want to look at our information, it's starlightstitch.com. Uh, if you also come in, we have, we just got this dropped off today, um, Mary, one of our regulars, dropped off this little jar here to donate money for strikeout seizures. Um, it's to help uh, the Christopher Lucas Medical Fund. Uh, you can also make donations at any Oregon State Credit Union branch to that account name too. There's also and a GoFundMe Go for it, Topher Lucas. Topher Lucas, yeah. We'll put the, the link down below too if you guys want to help out. Uh, yeah. Donate, please donate. Um, yeah, yeah. If you can, um, or recommend it to other people. See if they can. I know there's a lot of things on Facebook where you can mm -hmm. share GoFundMe stuff and do that. We'll we'll put a link in the Facebook page as well. Yeah. Um, let's see. 
Oh, remember, our stitch up is Saturday the 28th. That's it. I'm gonna keep reminding you. For some reason, I was thinking it was this weekend and I nearly bought cookies. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because then we would have eaten all the cookies <laughs> ourselves. Um, but yeah, Saturday the 28th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You're welcome to stay as long or as short as you yeah. like. You can even stay after two. We're happy to have you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna provide some cookies and like some, I don't know, some some little drinks or some water like or something that, like that. If you, we're gonna have some chairs. If you want to bring your own, please do. <laughs> um, we have kind of limited space in here, so and we're just really not sure how many people are gonna show up, so we don't want to bring too much stuff, but we also don't want to shortchange people on yeah. comfortable places to sit. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can sit on the floor, and <laughs> yeah. everybody else can have the chairs. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yep, but bring your projects, bring your friends, Yeah. bring your money, you can buy things while you're here. Yes, please <laughs> buy things. <laughs> but yep, we look forward to meeting you, and... Oh. Um, we're also going to, once we get the, the website up, we're going to do little mystery packages mm. where it'll be some set amount of money for a set of um, older patterns. We've got a lot of back stock of older patterns that um, probably from the 90s, 80s, some of the like early 2000s. Early 2000s, yeah. Um, so it'll be kind of, you know, you're getting, you're getting a box of stuff and it'll be themed we think um so it might be like a box of sports themed patterns or like holiday holiday themed patterns stuff like that. something like that we haven't quite hammered out all the details but yeah it's gonna be like it'll a be little, back yeah it'll thing. be like a little surprise for however much money you're giving us <laughs> yep <laughs> um so yeah if that sounds interesting to you feel free to follow us so you find out when it's coming up um we're also hoping to start doing beginners classes soon. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have any plans yet for advanced classes, but um, maybe eventually. I'm not that advanced. <laughs> if you're interested in volunteering to teach an advanced yeah. class, that would be awesome. We would love that. That would be and, great. Um, yeah, we will give you food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you want to contact us, um, yeah, and we'll get back in touch with you. We could possibly work something out with like paying you in patterns or something, something. like that. Um, hugs, hugs, great gratitude. <laughs> yeah, we're like super grateful. Um, and uh, we want to do children's classes too. Yeah, and carry small kits for kids to learn because I mean I learned when I was a kid, and I think we both learned on little kits. Yeah, I started so on that's a. That's something we want to carry. It was a little like owl kit where you got all of the stuff. And I think I got it at Joann's or something like that. And I think it's Busilla, I think is the company that puts them out. It's like my first cross stitch or something like that. Mm. That's the first thing I ever stitched. Yeah, mine was probably like a Santa Claus or something like that when I was a kid. So, But yeah, we want to carry little kits and stuff like that so that we can get kids who are interested in crafting into a cross stitch. Yeah, we may design some are on our own. Mm -hmm. um, we found a company that makes some stitching I think it's more like embroidery based but it's on a piece of um, wood with little holes in it and a little cute design so we are working on possibly getting some of those in for maybe like older kids mm -hmm. like I don't know like 7 that to one, 10 yeah. 7 to 12 something like that not really for like younger younger kids but we might work we're gonna work on something for younger kids that's a little bit less um, involved I guess yeah, so yeah. we'll have some stuff in the store because we've had requests from parents who have come in because we have a farmer's market down the street from us on Wednesdays and Saturdays and we'll get a lot of people in from that who usually come out with their kids or whatever mm -hmm. and they're just really interested in um, doing some sort of craft with their kids, especially now since it's summer and all the kids are out of school right now. Yeah, it's um, a good time to start learning something yeah. like cross-stitch or embroidery. Plus it's good for, there's a smaller, the, the younger kid kit that we're going to work on is good for like fine motor skills too mm -hmm. and won't have any like real pointy stuff so you don't have to worry about them like po poking themselves with needles or anything like that yeah um so it'd be good for that um which you know that's always a good skill to encourage in little kids plus they'll just have cute little shapes and that kind of stuff so. yep um well i can't think of anything else can you i think that's it. We're gonna supposed to be signing our lease for the space tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Or tomorrow Thursday. day after tomorrow. Today is Tuesday, by the way. Yeah, today is Tuesday. I don't know what day um, it is. Half the time. <laughs> me either. The being closed on Sunday and Monday thing yeah. always messes me up because I'm like, wait, is this Monday? No, this is and Tuesday. And then like I worked my other job. I worked over at the library Sunday, 
so it felt like a Monday, mm. and it's just, yeah. And we, all day yesterday, we will cut this, we may add this into the video here, or at the very end, our progress on repainting the gold spinners, because we have a lot of, like, 80s yellow gold. Yeah, yellow brassy gold stuff. Which we don't find that cute. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry if that if you like yeah. it. We just it's like not it, it's our cool, thing. but it's not our it's thing not for us personally. Um, plus, it just <laughs> needed sprucing up because it just looks kind of old. Yeah. Um, so we're working on painting those. Well, we were gonna paint them all silver, but then it was taking a lot more spray paint than we thought because we couldn't find metallic paint. Apparently, I'm terrible at estimating how much spray paint uh, I need. I thought I got it. enough the second time we went out, and then yeah. I can't it's do artistic and cute because it's got interesting <laughs> flaws in it. Yeah. That's what I'm telling myself. Flaws. Flaws. <laughs> Meaning where the spray paint ran out. Where the spray paint ran out. Um, um, but yeah, we're working on different colors and stuff that we want to do in the shop. And yeah. slowly but surely picking away at all the little renovation things that we yeah. want to do. Because we don't really have the money to just blow it all out and redo everything. Like shut down the store, redo That'd everything. Nice. Put all, that would be if I'm you want to give us that. a bunch of money, yeah, please yes, do so. Yes. You can gift us money, and yeah. we will redo the store, and it'll look really awesome and yeah. cozy and yeah. cute. But support your local needle workshop. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Even if you're not local to us, you can be <laughs> local to us. We'll claim you. Um, we're going to meet with a needlepoint artist named Tony. She runs. Is it Whimsy and Grace or Grace and Whimsy? Whimsy and Grace, Whimsy I think is the name of her, her website. We'll put, we'll also include the link down below for her. Um, and she's going to show us some of her um, needlepoint patterns and kits, I think, as well as finished pieces. And we were looking at their website, her website earlier, and it's some really cute stuff. I really like her little, I think it's like the Napoleon B or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like her damask designs. And yeah, so we had a lot of people asking us about needlepoint and there really isn't too much there's needlepoint store south of us in Eugene mm -hmm. but people just don't want to drive that far which is fair I yeah. yeah um so if we can pull in some more stuff from her she actually contacted us because her daughter found out that we'd taken over the store so she set up a little meeting with us uh Friday the 20th so we're gonna see what she has and hopefully yep. carry some of her stuff because that would be really fun to have a local artist mm -hmm. to supply us with pieces yeah. and we're still hunting around for other designers and stuff like that that we would like to start carrying yes um, if you're interested please contact us yeah especially if you do modern uh, designs we're yeah. looking to bring a whole lot more modern stuff into the yeah. shop we've and got a lot so of primitive and um, there's more traditional traditional right now um, stuff but we'd like to get some more modern stuff because we have had interest in it and I personally like that same. I prefer that I like primitive stuff I think it's really cute um, I just prefer the more colorful, um, yeah, the more geometric, like the Satsuma stuff, Street stuff. Yeah. Like I really like that line a lot. Um, but yep, yeah. we want to get more of that in. So if you design that stuff and you'd like us to carry your things, just uh, shoot us an email yeah. and we'll get back to you. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. I can't think of anything else. Um, okay. Well, have a good week. Yeah. Stay cool because it's really hot everywhere. Yes. Apparently. Yeah, it sounds um, like everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. <laughs> it's miserable. So stay cool, and uh, we will see you next time. Yeah, thanks. Bye-bye.